What's up everyone? So as you already saw, I'm going to do a quick review on some of my Milwaukee lighting. So aside from my full time job, on part time I do electrical contracting. So with that I have a couple different Milwaukee lights that I like, some not quite so much. But I wanted to go over this and you know inform you guys so if you're going to be buying them, you have a better idea on what you're getting and you know it's a better way to save money instead of buying something that you don't need or something that's just not that great of quality. So starting off here I'm going to get right into the meat of this video and show you what these lights look like outside in the dark. So before I get to that clip for outside, what I have here is the rocket light, the rover, the M12 flashlight, two headlamps, and this little pen light. Alright, so now you've seen what they look like outside, I'm going to go through them here on the bench and, you know, give you a closer look on what they look like, my thoughts on it, and I'll also give you the lumens output on each light. I'm not going to go through all the model numbers and all that stuff, but I will put it in the description in case you're interested in looking for one. But to start off, the pen light, it's kind of on par with like the stream light pen light, it's decent. Um, I think it could be brighter, it's 100 lumens, so it's... You know, it's suitable for what you need it for. Best, one thing I really like about it is it has this rubber tip, so if you're working on something and you need a third arm to hold the light, you can always kind of use your teeth to hold on to it. So the second light that I did outside was this headlamp. Um, I'm not really that big of a fan of this one. It uses AAA batteries. I think it was 300 and, 350 lumens. But you know, I just, I've had, this is my second one, but this little plastic connection here where it pivots, my old one broke. So I did get them free in a promotion, but, you know, I just, I haven't been super impressed with it. And then every time the battery dies, you got to put new batteries in it. And I much prefer the rechargeable lights because I hate having to carry long AAA batteries with near double A's or whatever, you know, other lights take. I'd much rather just have a rechargeable light and I don't got to worry about that. So that leads into the next headlamp that I have. It's a rechargeable one. Um, I do like this one a lot. I use it pretty much everywhere. I really like the rechargeable part of it. Uh, it has four different settings. It has your spot, your high, which has your spot and your floodlights on, and then floods, and then it dims down, and then it's off. But that is nice. It's 300 or 475 lumens. As you saw out in the yard, it works pretty good. There's plenty of light. The only thing that I wish it had differently was a little better spot. As you can see here, the spot is, you know, the shell's pretty small, so you don't really get a real big or a real long spot beam on it. It's kind of more of like a flood. But also, Milwaukee has another light out that's rechargeable. It's very similar to this. And I believe that is 6,000 lumens. I'll also put that one in the description. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks like it would work really good. The next light on the list is this fella here. It is the M12 work light. Um, it says it's 100 lumens, but as you can see in the video, it does seem to be, you know, definitely brighter than the two, which are the two AAA lights. But I really enjoy this light. They're pretty cheap, they're rugged, and they last a long time. 
And even this is a 3 0 battery on it, it seems like it lasts all day. I never really had an issue with it dying. It also works, I like using it with just your regular M12 batteries or like this too. But I also, whenever you use these, they're nice because you know they can just stand up and you can point them wherever you need them to. So after the M12 work light, I turned on the rocket and this thing works awesome. Um, you know, it's almost as bright as, you know, the, the Rover, but I don't know, they kind of, they both have their pluses and minuses on them. This one is 2,500 lumens and the Rover is 3,000 lumens. Um, I don't know, I mean, they both, I kind of use them in different situations, but they also kind of overlap in other situations. Like if I'm doing a panel where, you know, I like the light kind of shining down over my shoulder, that's where this really works good. Uh, if I'm doing like lighting or anything, this one's great because it's on the floor and you're looking up all the time also. I've ran into where if you're putting a panel in, you're reaching down to your tool bag and this is sitting on the ground pointing up at you, you always, you keep looking back into this light, which this one where it's up and kind of pointing down, it, it doesn't really affect you as much. And this also isn't the whole way up. So remember, there's the whole way extended if you can see it. But it is, it's above my head, which, which is nice. I'm 6'2". So this definitely is pretty handy. The only bad thing is, I mean, it's a bigger light, so you got to carry that around. But it definitely it collapses down, which just makes it nice to move around. I'll show you here. As it comes down, you have these little clamps and pushes right down in like that. This comes up, you have a little thumb button here and that slides up and it's like a carrying handle you can just carry it like this and it's not too bad i mean obviously you can see that it's bigger than the uh this light but you know they both like i said they have their own benefits to you know whatever you're going to be doing which i like having both of them both of them are either battery powered or they have your plug to hook 110 up in. I always just use batteries. Both of them during the test, I had M12 high output batteries in them. It really doesn't make a whole lot of difference with the lights, but they do last a lot longer. This one would be 3,000 lumens. It can eat up a 5A battery pretty quickly. So I normally keep the 12As or the 9A batteries for these lights, but you know, it's nice to have a light that runs all day long that you don't got to worry about. So overall, if I was going to be buying all these lights again, I would definitely buy the Rocket the Rover rechargeable light and this guy here. I mean, these ones are questionable. If you get a good deal on them or if you get them on a promo, uh, you know, obviously you'd get it then. But another one, like I said, whenever I was talking about this guy, there's new ones that came out that have a little bigger spot beam on them. They're a little higher lumens, which is gonna affect the battery life because they are you know, the same batteries, the little red lithium, they're basically an 18650 cell. Um, you know, if you're okay with a little shorter runtime, but the spot pattern is a lot nicer, I would suggest probably going to those. But this one also works great. And I've, like I said, I've used it with a hard hat or, you know, without one that works okay for me. I also have a big head, so that might be why it works better for me. <laughs> but they are, they are adjustable, you know, and it has, Nice little rubber grip on, side, on the inside so it doesn't slide off or anything. So hopefully this video helped you all. Um, like, I, like I said before in my other videos, you know, subscribe and like if you like the video, if you like the content. That keeps me making videos. And hopefully it helped you out with everything that you're doing. Hopefully it helped you pick which light. You know, there's definitely other lights, but these ones seem to work for me and they cover everything that I need to doing electrical work. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you later.